In this video, we're going to cover tool nudge and tool scale. And these two transformation types are very similar to grid nudge and grid scale. The only difference is that they use the set nudge driver scale to do their transformations. If you have questions about the nudge settings and the nudge driver, please, please refer to the video on nudge settings. So if I set this smaller cube right here to be my nudge driver, cube B, cube B, and then I select, for example, this, this cube right here, and I say one unit, which is the size of this cube, 100%. Select to move up, I'm moving by this size. And down, and left, and right, and this is view dependent, so whatever view you are, it's gonna behave in the same way. And then we also have tool scale, so if I wanna increase the scale of this cube, by the size of this cube, I can do that, like so. And then we also have this special button right here, and it works in both modes, tool nudge and tool scale, it works in the same way, does exactly the same thing. So I have my driver set to be cube B, this smaller cube here, and if now with this selected, if I press this button, it will set the, the scale, the X, Y, and Z scale to be the same as that cube right there. There we go. Now it's exactly the same size. Obviously with all these operations, I can select all and press that and all my subtools will be set to the size of the nudge driver. And of course with any of these operations, all these transformation types, I can just press undo and I go back to what I had before. 